On September 5, 2027, the Voyager 1 will mark its 50th year in space. With its current velocity clocking in at approximately 38,000 miles per hour, the spacecraft is projected to be approximately 176 astronomical units away from the Sun, equivalent to about 24 light hours. Despite the gradual loss of energy due to the Sun's gravitational pull and the overall influence of the solar system, Voyager 1, having already attained escape velocity, we will never be able to cancel out its forward velocity and reverse its direction. Scientists are now saying that the Voyager 1 probe is starting to lose contact and in just a few years it will fall silent forever, ending communication with humanity. After that, its journey through space will be completely lonely. Over the next billion years, Voyager 1 will continue its solitary voyage through the Milky Way galaxy. Despite the immense distances it travels, the universe is even larger, and the boundary of our observable universe is beyond comprehension. However, scientists have recently shared some fascinating and even terrifying predictions about what Voyager 1 will encounter during its silent voyage for billions of years and beyond. They also revealed that the very last thing Voyager 1 will encounter on its journey is actually moving toward us. So, what is this final encounter? Why is it coming toward our solar system? And what is the silent death of Voyager 1 that scared everyone? Well, since its first journey from Earth, it has now covered over 15 billion miles, surpassing the heliosphere, the outer region of the Sun's influence. Right now, Voyager 1 is traveling through interstellar space. The interstellar medium might seem like empty space, but when Voyager 1 entered this region, it recorded some strange sounds. This interstellar region is mostly empty, but there are interstellar clouds or plasma waves which are the remnants of dead stars floating in space. Surprisingly, Voyager 1 encountered two of these interstellar clouds after entering this medium. The sounds you hear are audio representations of Voyager 1's interaction with these clouds. They're actually data from plasma waves converted into sound. You can clearly see the two instances when Voyager 1 passed through these plasma waves. Apart from this, the interstellar medium remains quite empty. Voyager 1 will continue its journey through this region for around 300 more years, it may pass through regions of higher or lower density in the interstellar medium, potentially leading to fluctuations in the data it collects. Despite its robust design, Voyager 1 will inevitably degrade over time due to the harsh conditions of space. Cosmic radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and the gradual decay of its power sources will eventually take their toll on the spacecraft systems. Alan Cummings, who worked on the Voyager project, said, Once Voyager 1 loses power and communications, it will continue to travel. I think it will go on for a billion years. There is nothing to stop it. Its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which provide power to the spacecraft, will eventually decay to the point where they can no longer sustain its operations. The plutonium inside the craft has a half-life of about 88 years. Without power, Voyager 1 will go dark, continuing its trajectory through space as a silent relic of humanity's first steps into the cosmos. It will continue its journey alone, unable to share anything with us ever again. As it travels deeper into interstellar space, it may encounter more mysterious cosmic phenomena, but those discoveries will remain unknown to us lost in the silence of deep space. After this long interstellar journey, around the year 2330, the Voyager 1 spacecraft will enter the inner boundaries of the Oort cloud. So far, there is no direct or solid evidence confirming the existence of the Oort cloud, but scientists believe this distant region of icy particles likely exists. 
and the Voyager 1 spacecraft must pass through this region of space before continuing on its long journey through the vast stretch of interstellar space. Unlike the Kuiper Belt, the objects in the Oort cloud are separated by vast distances due to the immense volume of the region, so Voyager 1 can pass through it without any risk of collision. Although the exact size of the Oort cloud is still unknown, scientists estimate it could extend from about 2,000 to 5,000 AU at its inner edge, all the way out to 100,000 AU, or possibly even farther. Because of its vast scale, Voyager 1 is expected to take around 30,000 years to travel through the entire Oort cloud region. If all goes smoothly, Voyager 1 will exit this distant region and enter the deeper interstellar medium around the year 32,325. Well, after entering into the vast interstellar medium, the Voyager 1 spacecraft is now in the interstellar journey. At this point, this spacecraft will feel more gravitational pull of other stars than the Sun. The direction in which Voyager 1 is moving right now is aimed towards the constellations of Ophiuchus. Well, during the journey towards the Ophiuchus constellations, the spacecraft will encounter with a star named Glissa 455, a red dwarf star in the constellation Camelopardalis. Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years of Glissa 445, and this will occur in approximately 40,000 years. However, the interesting thing is that Gliese 445 itself is moving toward our solar system. After Voyager 1 passes near Gliese 445, it will continue drifting in the same general direction toward the constellation Ophiuchus. It will not approach any other known star closely for many tens or even hundreds of thousands of years. Over the next millions of years, its trajectory will slowly curve as it orbits around the Milky Way. It will slowly orbit the center of the Milky Way just like stars do, completing one orbit roughly every 250 million years. In front of it, mostly nothingness and a lonely, uneventful journey. Voyager 1 and 2 are estimated to exist for more than a trillion years, so they are immortal human artifacts. When the sun runs out of fuel in about 5 billion years, all living species, mountains, seas, and forests will have disappeared long before its expected destruction. It will be as if we and all the amazing and extraordinary beauty of planet Earth never existed. But amazingly at that time, the two Voyager spacecraft will still be floating in space, awaiting discovery by an advanced alien civilization for whom the messages on the golden records were intended. Only those records will likely remain as testimony and legacy of Earth, a kind of objective immortality. Religious and spiritual people can find solace in the belief that God or an afterlife waits for them after death. For the secular, Hoping that someone or something will remember humanity, any wakeful and appreciative aliens will have to do. Ultimately, the fate of Voyager 1 is to drift indefinitely through the vast expanse of space, a silent ambassador of humanity's curiosity and spirit of exploration. While its journey may eventually come to an end, its legacy will endure, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars and explore the unknown. That's the end of this video. If you found it interesting and informative, let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you'd like to support our work, you can do so by purchasing our t-shirts or donating via Super Thanks. Your support helps us create more amazing content. Thank you for watching.